Right, well, this year it became much more, I would say, challenging to structure the successful transaction. We are, in a way, uh, almost lucky because we started pretty early in the year. We had our instances in domestic market before the outbreak of the war in Ukraine. Then when the war just started, we were already in our for this year on we planned Eurobond market already completed uh, with manager selection. So in a position to prepare documentation and to actively monitor the market to look for these small windows when the market at least a bit step less because it was pretty volatile at the time and uh, to we were successful in placing the Eurobond uh, during April which met our actual target for the year. For the remainder of the year we still do have one plan in domestic market and we do have maturities in July. It is obvious that with this backdrop uh, that uh, we would most likely target somewhat shorter maturity. Uh, so the first one in the year was eight years, this Eurobond was 10 years now. It is to expected that we will end somewhere between three and five. And uh, that would probably complete most of the target for this year. Then we'll see how the situation will develop further if the market stabilize uh, for the plans for next one. For next we know that we do have one international maturity. In April we do have US dollar bonds maturing. We haven't been in, in dollar market for huh, now more than six, seven years. So we might consider if the, the uh, opportunity will arise uh, between euro and dollar what would be for the country the, the best strategy for next year. What, all, what else we expect? We would expect, you know, it is strategic goal of the government that we will introduce euro as early as January next year. That is usually accompanied by, um, I would say, relatively strong improvement in the credit and probably followed by the upgrades by the agencies. So that might uh, in a way somewhat uh, alienate the, the rising uh, cost of the base rate increases.